The print is the culmination of the long process that begins and you first frame the subject in the viewfinder. The desire to seal an image dates back to the discovery of the camera obscura. The first successful attempt was in 1826. It was photographed by Nice for Neeps. It uses a type of asphalt spread over a tin plate. A first successful form of photography, named for Louis Daguerre of France, who invented the technique in collaboration with Nice for Neeps in the 1830s. Daguerre and Neeps found that if a copper plate coated with silver iodide was exposed to light in a camera, then fumed with mercury vapor and fixed by a solution of common salt, a permanent image would be formed. The wet collodion process. Invented in 1848 by Frederick Scott Archer, in which a thick glass plate is coated with light-sensitive collodion emulsion, placed in a camera, exposed, developed, and varnished before being used to create prints. It was the standard photographic process until it was replaced by the dry plate gelatin silver process. Sir John Frederick William Herschel, English polymath, a mathematician, astronomer, chemist, inventor, experimental photographer. Remember that name. He made a very important contribution to photograph. Coined the term photography in 1839, also the first to apply the terms negative and positive. Herschel discovered sodium thiosulfate, which is still used in black and white photography. To make your first successful print in the darkroom you need to have an enlarger, masking frame, three processing trays, developer, stop, fixer, print squeegees, graduates, one large, one small, spirit thermometer, timer, safe light, guillotine for paper, Ilford paper. The principle of the enlarger is simple. It is basically a box with a light inside that transmits that light first through a negative and then a lens. By shining light through the negative, it transfers your image from the small negative and enlarges it onto your paper. It is the most important piece of equipment in the darkroom. The enlarger consists of a light source, normally an incandescent light bulb shining through. A condenser to provide even illumination. A holder for the negative or transparency. And a specialized lens for projection. Once you have the equipment set up an area with the enlarger and enough space for three trays. You should have the developer nearest to the enlarger, then the stop bath, and then the fix. Mix the chemicals needed for the process, developer, stop and fixer. Each package has instructions on how to do it. We choose the negative that we will print. Once the chemicals have been measured out, place the negative in the enlarger carrier with the shiny side upwards and the numbers away from you. Make sure the room is light tight and then switch on the red safe light. The photographic black and white paper is not sensitive to red light. After we have selected the frame for printing, we must first do focus the enlarger on the masking frame, the lens aperture is open to max opimus 5 has an easy way to focus. Just pull the negative holder and once you see that the lines are in a straight line, the focus is ok. Take a few test prints with different times to determine the correct exposure. We dip the samples into the developer. The process lasts from 1 to 3 minutes. Keep an eye on it. The photo is ready after the image stops developing. We should not take it out early or keep it longer in the developer. To complete the process in the darkroom it is necessary to stop the developing in stop solution for a few seconds and then place the picture in the fixer for no more than 2 minutes. To determine what the correct exposure is, we review our samples in daylight. We return to the dark room to continue working. We are already enjoying our first copies. 
Each next one will get better and better. The experience you will gain with more work is the secret of success. Experiment with different papers that manufacturers still offer, as well as different developers. And remember, your photos are made of silver, just like the first, masters of photography in the 19th century. After finishing the chemical treatment of the paper, it is necessary to wash the photos thoroughly in running water for 15 to 20 minutes at a temperature of no more than 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Almost done. The pictures dry, and we enjoy our art. The last thing we need to do, is cut out the white areas of the photos. We use a photographic guillotine. They are ready for a frame or an album. This is also our first success in the darkroom. In the next episode, a legend returns. Introducing the unique Raleigh i35 camera. A camera that has not worked for more than 50 years will be loaded with black and white film to see its qualities. See you soon.